Hi, I'm Jennifer Leahy, licensed real estate salesperson for Douglas Elliman and the founder of the Jennifer Leahy team. We are on Great Island. This exquisite 60 acre parcel of land was originally purchased by the Ziegler family in the 1800s. This gorgeous Mediterranean was built and finished around 1905 along with the equestrian facility that was designed by world-renowned architect Raphael Gustavino. You'll see we're overlooking Ziegler's Cove and the Long Island Sound with over one and a half miles of coastline. Many of us have seen this exquisite property from the water, but today you get an exclusive look from inside the land. Here at the main house, you'll notice a beautiful granite stone structure. Originally, there was a slate roof. And when Meisner came around 1920s, 30s to do a renovation of the house, he changed it into the Mediterranean style roof, added on a breakfast room, and really streamlined the millwork inside. The dining room you'll find is very reminiscent of a Rockefeller estate, where the rest of the house has very clean lines and less millwork. And here in the Great Lawn are ample opportunities for not only town events, but can you imagine the weddings and the corporate events here? This view is unparalleled. Here you have a half polo field and riding ring overlooking the marina. And here we have a 19th century farmhouse with a seaside pool. And here we have the original garage for the limousines when this beautiful complex was created around 1905. In the center of the garage is a turntable they used to drive the limousines into and then turn the table to park the cars. This is beautiful granite and slate roof. So I like to take people down this bridal trail, whether we do it by car or foot, it is magnificent to see this type of canopy. We did this walk in the rain, and because most of the canopy is so dense, we barely even got raindrops on us. It's incredible to see anywhere, including in public parks, this type of tree growth and the age of these trees. It's really an incredible oasis 
and it does make you feel like you're somewhere else. Everyone feels like this is like Maine or someone somewhere far away from Darien. Really nice place to decompress. I will say once you've walked this trail, you just do feel better because it's just, it's cool. There's all these beautiful trees around. You're looking out at the water. Sometimes you'll see a white-tailed deer pass you by, a turkey, birds, obviously butterflies. And all this was really never touched. It was used to cool down the horses. Bill Steinkraus, who is a, an Olympic gold medalist, used the equestrian facility and this is where he would cool down his horses. So that's really it. I think my car has been um, maybe the only car to go through here hundreds of times and it just doesn't get old. Because of all of these different elevation changes, we're really protected from storms. So even in some of our worst storms, 100 year storms, I think they lost maybe two trees this fall. Very little tree damage. You can see all the rock outcroppings. The elevation change on the island can go all the way up to 40 feet. At the main house, you're at 30 feet, but you can see in here, we have grade change probably over 15 feet in some spots. And the whole island, there's only 0.4 acres of wetlands, which makes it very interesting because you can use this land. And then obviously just keep that part of the land partitioned off. And I'm not sure how it is, but maybe because of the cross trees and obviously this beautiful canopy, but I swear Great Island is cooler than the rest of Darien. So when I've been here on a very hot day, it's probably five degree difference. You can see even in here, we're just basked in shadows because of the beautiful tree coverage. So we're here on the beach. I mean, does it get better than this? You can see how beautiful the rock outcroppings are. And that's also why we have these cam lines that really don't affect the land because of how much ledge you have leading out from the usable land, especially on the Great Lawn up there. So here at the beach, you have your beach house here with the maritime study center would be, perhaps a touch tank or two. There's changing rooms and a bathroom. And then you have this extraordinary low tide pool wall that could be rebuilt and in low tide, which we are right now, this would have captured water and this would be a, a programming opportunity for perhaps children or adults with special needs and a swimming opportunity for those that maybe are intimidated. You could do lessons to really introduce them to swimming in the Long Island Sound. And this beach is too good to not explore. My kids always love playing on the rocks at Weed Beach, but check out this ledge here. I've got this beautiful platform, and apparently there was a dock here at some point. Great place to sit, to meditate. And then these amazing pads up.
there is just so much fun to explore here. Look at how far the rocks go out. I know my kids would go nuts playing on this and I can't imagine what kind of bugs that they would find and be able to explore with these incredible views of the Long Island Sound. So I'm a real estate agent, but I'm also a citizen of Jerian. I served on the Planning and Zoning Commission for four years and finished my term this last November. Uh, I have children in the school system and I feel like this is an opportunity as a citizen to preserve land, to allow my children to have somewhere to go, to decompress, to exercise, to be one with nature. And there's not enough opportunities today for them to be able to do this. Could this be developed? Yes, it could be. And even though that might benefit me more, this to me is doing the right thing and preserving land and showing children that I care also about land for them for the future and for future generations to come.